地方。Welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm very excited to share with you Father John Misty's acoustic rendition of Chateau Lobby Number no. 4 in C for two versions. This is a great tune for beginners trying to get their basic G, C, and D or D7 shapes down, but also add in the element of walk downs and walk ups. Let's get started. Okay, a close look at the guitar neck. A couple of things I want to mention before we get going. This uh, guitar is tuned to standard tuning, but if you watch the live acoustic uh, performances that Father John Misty has done, he tunes his guitar down a whole step, then puts his capo here on the fourth fret. Okay, we're gonna get the same exact pitches by keeping our capo on the second fret and leaving our guitar in standard tuning. Okay, getting started with our verse and intro sections. Keep your eyes on the chord diagrams as they flash up on the screen. The chords we're going to be needing, G major chord, a C major chord, an A minor, and a D7. Okay, now that you have the basic chords down, I'm gonna demonstrate this verse slash intro section for you with all the walk downs, walk ups, and special tricks that he throws in. Let's get it sound like this. One, two, three, four. All right, so this verse is gonna start off with two versions of our G chord. A garden variety everyday G chord, and also a G major seven. This is when our pinky comes off and we access the second fret relative to the capo of the high E string. And my eats bread end, right there on that, the word end. Butter. So the way we're gonna execute this, we're gonna be strumming. One, two, and three, end. Right there on the eighth note after the third beat, we throw in the G major seven chord. One, Then on the upstroke after four, we transition to the C major chord and get there by the one. Let's try that again. G major chord. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Now the only other way he might transition to the C major chord, instead of doing the G uh, major seven chord, sometimes he just plays that same note, 
but walks down there on the second fret of the low E string. So it'd be one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and. And you can still do the upstrokes on the, uh, on the same strings. To get to the C major chord. Over the C chord, we're gonna have a very similar transition going to this little grip here that we call C slash, or sorry, uh, G slash B. So here my middle finger is on the second fret of the A string, and my first finger is on the first fret of the B string. So approaching the C to the G slash B to the A minor change in the same exact fashion that we did with our G chord, it'll sound like this. Okay, so then the C chord gets one, two, and three, and right after that third beat, upstroke on the G slash B chord, another downstroke, and then we're going to the A minor chord. So far we have G major. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and A minor. Now, on the A minor chord, we're just gonna keep that one nice and plain. One, two, and three, and four, and maybe occasionally I'll like jazz it up a little bit by taking my third finger on and off. That's just my, kind of my own style. You can even add your pinky to the high E string uh, third fret to make it shine a little bit more. So the A minor chord though is perfectly fine, nice and plain. Now next we have the D7 chord coming in. And for this chord, we're gonna throw in a super basic variation. Just add in our pinky to the third fret of the high E string. It could be uh, on, after the second beat or after the third beat. Really, you can throw that in wherever you see fit. Something like this. One, two, and three, and four, and. You put all this together, we have G major chord. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. throwing that pinky there on the D7 chord right at the end, just to gain a little bit of pressure, a little bit of tension to get back to the beginning of the chord progression. Okay, moving on to the B section. I guess you could call this the chorus. The chords we're gonna be needing here are the A minor chord, our walk up to C, you can just use our uh, G slash B for that again, C major chord, and the familiar D7 chord, which is great because we don't even have to move that first finger to make that transition, D7. Okay, so this is gonna have the same kind of walk up uh, effect going on when we go from A, G slash B to C. It's gonna sound like this, A minor chord. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and D7, two, and three, and four. Okay, so that walk up to the C chord is very quick and only happens there at the last measure, the end of the last measure of the A minor chord. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and right after that three, again, he throws in these variations right on that same eighth note each time. That's not to say though that there's not tons and tons of room for variation in that. You can actually put these, uh, these tricks in on different beats and it's gonna sound great. Okay, so the A minor chord. I've never done this, baby be gentle, it's. I like to put it on the it's. My first time. The D7 chord. I've got you inside. Strumming down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. Basically, just eighth note strums swinging steadily throughout the tune. Okay, moving on to the final section. This is the bridge. We have an A minor chord and also a B minor chord. So this is a bar shape. So we need to change the fingering of the A minor, slide it up a whole step, and wrap our finger, bar our finger over the second fret up to the A string. So with this chord, I'm barring the second fret, A string all the way to the high E string. My middle finger is on the third fret B, and my pinky is up one string, up one fret, that's the fourth fret of the G string, and my ring finger is right on top of that, that's the fourth fret of the D. For a B minor chord, I'm hugging the guitar, squeezing nice and hard, my thumb is down low to make sure that I get a nice clean bar chord. 
We'll also need a C major chord and the D7 again. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate for you, then I'll break it down. The A minor chord, one, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. C major, one, two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three, and four. And the D7 chord, stay as long as you want. I haven't left your bed since. And then we're back to our verse. Okay, so this is pretty simple stuff with tons and tons of room for variation. The A minor chord can just get a one, two, and three, and four, and that's a pop strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, two times. The B minor chord gets the same treatment. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and plenty of room to put in extra strums if you want. eighth notes then the D7 chord if you wanted to wait to do that right here that'd be a perfect choice because this is where you want to really build up the power and the energy One, two, and three, and four. Left your bed since. Oh, oh, oh. then you're into a little instrumental section where there would have been uh, on the electric version a bunch of horns coming in he just uh, sings some O's uh, in a uh, uh, typical Father John Misty style all right that's it your verse your chorus and your bridge sections are complete. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Father John Misty's Chateau Number no. 4. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a song that you'd like me to teach next, you can hit up the suggestion box via the link in the description. I'm having a great time uh, putting together lesson plans around the songs you've suggested so far. Until next time, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.